Hey you guys, so I'm back at it again as a collective message of the day and I just wanted to touch on the we part two again because you know I do feel like there's negative energies around us and inside of us and I feel like if you're not spiritually aligned and spiritually connected within yourself and you don't have your own sense of self it could be partially your energy but it also could be another person's energy of you so it's like if you are doing that and you know you have empathy for people it's like a certain level of you having to know your own sense of self and you having to have an intent behind what you're doing and you having to come to the realization you can't smoke with everybody and you can't be around everybody when you are doing that because this is a time for you to do a ritual with yourself because that's very ritualistic if you're going to do it to heal yourself so it's just switch up how y'all do stuff switch it up because it's like we not really healing for real we coping with trauma for no reason when society teaches us to cope with, cope with trauma and we as a black community it's time for us to stop coping with our trauma and start allowing it to be transmuted into something beautiful pain brings purpose so in this pain that you're having with yourself realize the purpose behind it i noticed i didn't grow up with the dad for a reason i didn't grow up with a dad to show the struggle of how it is to be a feminine energy and grow into my feminine energy and allow myself to love myself and validate my own self within me you know i had a mom but then at the same time like i always say she wasn't the right tool to bring me into the person that i needed to be but i'm glad that she was like how she was because it got me to be more independent it got me to be more self so voracious it's, it's a word in my head but i just <laughs> completely forgot it got me to be more de determined it got me to actually want to heal for not only me but for my my partner for my my generation you know behind me for my kids behind me i do everything with the intent now of focusing on like would my kids look up to that would my kids do this i even when i help certain people i'd be like what if that was my kid what if that was my this? And it's just like, I do that because I want good karma to come. Because your kids get the sins of what you did. Literally. And I feel like all of my sisters are living out the sin of what my mama did. And then my mama's living out the sin of what her mama did. And I'm stopping that now with me. I don't, I don't care about anybody else. I'm talking about me. And then when I focus on me then i can fix my family then i can fix my community then i can fix the nation you know what i'm saying like it's something way deeper with inside of me that's growing so to have a mom like that it really set me up to loving myself getting to know myself getting to know my roots and so i can heal my own black community that's how i said black <laughs> but anyhow 